Hello from Slidenet and hello from Weaves. What's up folks? In this video, I'm going to talk about the Android Gravity attribute. In my last video, I was talking about Android Layout Gravity and I told you guys how your views can be positioned in different places inside your layouts. In this video, with la Android Gravity, we guys are going to discuss how the content inside your view can be arranged in different locations. So let me go ahead and talk about what Gravity exactly is. Now if you guys have this question, what is an Android Gravity? As you guys can see here this purple box which you see is my text view. Now remember it is not using wrap content. I have actually specified a width of 300 dp and a height of 300 dp alright. So if you see the content which is hello world the size of the content is only this much but inside this whole text view where will your content be placed will it be the center will it be over here will it be over here so on right and that is exactly what your android gravity does android gravity controls where the content of the view should appear inside the view so let me actually show you some examples and you guys will figure this out very easily so the first thing you guys should notice is this the view must be bigger than the contents to see the effect of android gravity for example if your view is wrap content in width and height you will not see the effect of android gravity taking place inside so here if you guys notice i have this hello world my android gravity is bottom so it appears over here if you see the next one android gravity is right well it appears over here then if you see the other one android gravity is center horizontal now remember when you say center horizontal it's gonna appear right in the center horizontally right and if you say center vertical it's gonna appear vertically in the center right but if you want this to be in the absolute center it can be either center horizontal and center vertical or there is another attribute which is simply android gravity equals to center right now this is going to place the content right in the middle of your text view Again, you can have two values together, that is you can have your hello world at the bottom as well as the right, right? You can have this uh, pipe symbol put up between bottom and right and that way both the values will work and your hello world will be at the bottom over here and at the right over here, right? Both the values take effect at the same time. So another question which people frequently have on forums on different places I have seen. They ask what is the layout gravity and what's the difference between gravity, alright. Now let me actually show you the difference. Here you have my user interface. This red rectangle represents my linear layout, alright. So here if you see this is my view which can be a text view, it can be a button and edit text or whatever. So when you say layout gravity, it's going to control where your view will appear inside the layout, alright. But on the other hand, when you talk about gravity, you have the same user interface, you have the view and it will control where the content inside the view is going to take effect as you guys can see the size of the view must be bigger than the content itself in other words it should not be wrapped content to for the gravity to take effect all right you guys can go ahead and eclipse you can try the different values of gravity out and you can try with the different values of layout gravity i hope this is enough for you to understand what gravity is and how it works if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts i would love to hear from you guys Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.